Polk County, Florida. A man accused of sexual violence against a minor was arrested in Florida following an online campaign led by his own daughters. Davy Albaran, 51, was detained on Sunday after deputies received a tip and were assisted by the police's K-9 Creed. We snuck around just before midnight on Sunday, within the Country Haven Drive courtyard. Well, it might have been Country Haven Drive, but it was no haven for him, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said in a Monday briefing. Sheriff Judd informed the media that the accused was discovered hiding in a shed at the time of his detention. He disclosed his name to us as Jose, Sheriff Judd further stated in his briefing. Can you believe that? He not only sexually assaulted a minor with the intent to kill, but also lied to the sheriff's office. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office had issued an arrest warrant for Mr. Albaran in connection with sexual battery against a minor. Additionally, he had been profiled on the Fox show America's Most Wanted. Sheriff Judd stated in the briefing that his warrants include sexual battery on a kid under the age of 12, indecent conduct with a minor under the age of 12, and failure to pay child support on a separate problem in Orange County. Aside from police assistance in apprehending the fugitive, Mr. Albaran's family has led a social media campaign for his arrest for at least a year. Fox 35 reported in December 2022 that Mr. Albaran's daughter wrote on social media that she wants her father to be in jail. In an effort to finally bring him to justice, his two grown daughters, Anna and Yaniri, put his face on TikTok videos. Anna described the moment she received a phone call at 6 a.m. from a Polk County deputy informing her that her father had been arrested. He said, good job. We found him, she remembered. I began to scream. I was in tears. I was filled with disbelief. When asked about the news, Osceola County Sheriff Marcus Lopez said in a video that the man is now booked and rotting in the county jail. According to Sheriff Judd, Mr. Albaran will be returned to Osceola County where he will face trial. If you enjoy this video, follow us and subscribe.